Welcome to another exciting episode of Voice of Our Industry Digital Dialogue on why quality control is important in the biomedical industry sponsored by Marpos. The size of the Indian medical devices market is estimated at 11 billion US dollar and it is expected to grow 50 billion US dollar by 2030 alongside achieving a 10 to 12% global market share over the next 25 years thanks to the national medical devices policy. Quality control will continue to play a crucial role in this industry as we embark on this ambitious growth trajectory. Now Dr. Rajiv Chibba, a renowned expert in healthcare communications and public health policy, will be talking about the importance of quality control in the biomedical industry. So uh, it's a very pertinent uh, um, topic uh, in fact and uh, I'm happy that uh, beyond uh, uh, health tech and med tech someone is going deep down into other uh, parts of the medical device uh, conundrum to understand how impactful medical devices can really be if there is not any device control quality control or quality assurance a, a particular device goes through a lot of quality checks lot of assurance checks and we end up then giving it to the last end user whether that is a clinician or a caregiver or a patient so and and there's a very fine line difference between quality assurance and quality control and and largely people do not understand this we from the health tech and the medical device industry pay a very very minute attention to such things so uh, you know technically uh, this takes place throughout the manufacturing process it's not that uh, once we make the final product that's the quality control or quality assurance that we're looking at to it is right from the raw material to the processing to uh, you know even the minutest details of of grinding or even uh, packaging and then supply and 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 even deliverability of the product is where this entire step is followed so uh, so for instance at at smt when we look at it you know our quality uh, evaluators assess process uses basically four steps uh, largely and then this is like plan where we establish the uh, quality objectives and processes required to achieve the desired results uh, then we have do where the performance uh, for those objectives are applied uh, by new quality processes or by adjusting the processes as needed by the regulators of a particular area and then the check it's a very important process you know we assess results and compare them to the objective and finally is the act part where uh, you know we do we adjust the process to properly meet the objective of implementing any necessary improvements so and this also comes as a feedback from not only clients not only doctors or hospitals but also otherwise when we do an in-house evaluation uh, of our pro- pro- products so i think um, overall uh, when we talk about quality measurement in medical devices qa qc it's it's a very very important uh, uh, process uh, once the batch is ready for distribution the persons or the team in charge with the quality control uh, they are responsible for you know very carefully evaluating the product and then uh, sending it down to the last mile where it is uh, supposed to be there so i think this role is a highly critical role to ensure that no product goes into the market that could be ineffective or causes harm and this is one of the important goals also that the honorable prime minister even the honorable uh, union health minister and the uh, cdso officials uh, at uh, 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 at dcgi they they kind of like diligently involve each and every stakeholder into thank you dr chiva next we have mr rajiv nath a prominent figure in the industry with extensive experience in regulatory affairs will discuss the status of quality control in the biomedical industry in india so this has been our vision for quite some time we shared the vision with the government and uh, the industry and uh, the various stakeholder ministries and i'm happy to say that last year india adopted this vision and it's gone even one step further so while we were aiming to be the top 5 global hubs worldwide uh, the national medical device policy announced last year uh, has put the target as making india as the top manufacturing hub not the top 5 uh, what we seek from the regulator is that instead of acting like a policeman he should be acting like a gardener he should be nurturing and facilitating the 
industry because it's at a very early nascent stage. We're at the uh, stage of uh, being a toddler uh, or still being newborns. And then later on, I would say that once we are teenagers, that we will need the more disciplining part of it. So in medical devices, unfortunately, we're pretty much 70% import dependent. Uh, bulk of it comes from USA and from China. Historically, there's been a trust deficit in the Indian made brands. Very few of us have been able to capture the loyalty part from the doctors because uh, historically we've not been regulated and whatever regulations were there, they were either incomplete or they were incorrectly being applied as drugs. And so we've been using third country uh, regulatory uh, uh, regulations to uh, build up credibility. Two years back, India came out with the standard st strategy and this is very important because it gave four basic elements. One was it gave a impetus for standards development for every kind of product in the country. Second was it gave a logic and pathways for conformity assessment uh, to give the confidence to customers that you are making a product uh, compliant to quality. And thereafter, we had technical regulations like we have now for medical device rules, uh, which are technical regulations applied for medical devices. And most important is point number four, where we say we get a quality mindset, what Rajiv Chibba was talking about. Now, a CEO is going to build his brand name based on his milestones for quality. And for that quality, it will be much more than what is being demanded by a voluntary quality standard, which can be an IS or a BIS standard uh, for a particular product standard. And normally, voluntary quality standards are higher than what the regulatory standards are. So in terms of achieving quality, there are basically five major elements. One is quality controls. Second is conformity assessment uh, to prove compliance to these controls. Third is to make assurance that everything that is going in, in medical devices is not just by sample checking a few pieces which are checked to a, a test and it's being compliant. You have assurance that everything going on will be consistent quality. And then you have measure quality. So quality measurement can be done like using Six Sigma tools. So you will see the number of defects per million which will be going into the market. India, typically what you have are areas where you have somebody showing that he's making very good quality but he's not able to keep it consistent. So you have a big variation in quality, huge spikes. So in terms of compliance, again, the government already is now following what we've been advising them over the years. So for E and B products, you already have third party certification by certification uh, bodies to support the regulator in terms of uh, compliance. Conformity assessment is the next part of quality control, which is very, very critical, whether in terms of regulations or in terms of performance. So it, Conformity assessment normally has got four elements. It can be uh, just by testing as conformance. It can be in terms of software interoperability or in terms of connectors, uh, layer connectors, mechanical or electronic. Uh, they have to be functional so there are no jammings, leakages or stuff like that. And then you have got uh, over here in terms of uh, conformity assessment, you can do that in your own laboratory or you can use an outside laboratory which is accredited to ISO 1703225 or NABL for that matter or an ALIC system which will make it internationally acceptable certification. And then you have the technical regulator. So in India now for medical devices you have technical regulators. So when you don't have regulators then BI steps in with their quality control orders. But where technical regulators are available like in for medical devices you don't necessarily need a QC. Basically this is the overview that I provided. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you so much, Mr. Nath, for sharing your valuable insights. Our next speaker is Mr. Sunil Khurana, who will speak on medical electronics and quality control. So, we have been talking about quality control, but what I believe is that, you know, today quality control is a very old concept. Now we need, at BPO, we have moved to a quality assurance instead of only controlling the quality. Everywhere quality has to be integral part and that is very, very important. Now, why quality assurance is important? We have to enhance the patient safety. Now, when I talk of patient safety, I also touch here traceability, which was also touched by Rajiv, is that how can we go back and trace the product? And that is very, very important. Let's suppose there is a batch where you have some challenge and you understand this later, then you can say that from serial number this to this, add a wrong component going and we can do a traceability and correct. You will reduce the overall risk and harm to the end patient. Similarly, it brings, if quality is good, it brings a lot of customer delight. Customer is happy, breakdowns are not happening, he's getting a best uh, overall results what they want. 
Also, I feel that if you have a built a quality, initially it may look that it is more expensive, but ideally it is much much effective on the cost side because your burden on the service delivery comes down dramatically, and you know over a period of time you can always realize that building cost finally gives you overall benefit in terms of scaling up your business, and hence I relate this as a cost efficiency advantage also. And continuous improvement, quality assurance activities are very. key to improve the processes and processes are very very mandatory rajiv chibber was talking about a lot about the processes if processes are not followed strictly you know we can always go wrong so it's so critical that whatever comes in that will determine your quality ultimately that is where if we have a very strong quality check inspection incoming material check you are then if you are feeding the right material into the equipments your quality will always be you know, very good and we spend a lot of time at dpl to you know check what comes as a component whether it conforms to the specification we are looking for in then go for you know then send it to the next stage so this is very very key. wish to say here that you know quality basically is a mindset and once we have that deep dna built in the system then only we can achieve the excellence that's the only way and ultimately if you go this what is going to happen that you are going to delight your customers thank you Thank you, Mr. Kurada, for your detailed presentation. Now we have a joint presentation by Mr. Federico Poli and Mr. Ramad Dukmanyo on the impact of measurements and testing solutions on the advancement of biomedical device quality. Mr. Poli and Mr. Raman are representing Mapos, an Italian major in the field of measurement and inspection solutions for medical devices and components. Over to Mr. Poli and Raman. All your quick introduction about Marpos. Marpos is a worldwide leader for what concerns the measurement and classification and the features. We are we used to design a manufacturing solution for what concerns the control of mainly the automotive component, both ICE and EV. Uh, all of those locations are related to the main manufacturing center that are specifically for each of the products that we are conditioned to. and to supply we we spent some words regarding one of the main solution that we have for the orthopedic screw that is in condition to perform the external diameter the pitch and some other profile angle certification the, the this solution is the called the refer to optoflash optoflash solution is the a solution that is the and uh, the satelli uh, that uh, supply accuracy for what concerns the repeatability and reliability for the external diameter orthopedic screw that we need to classify it is a solution that is uh, pretty uh, pretty quick dental implants and orthopedic uh, producer uh, we have an overview about the space and the layout that of flash is representing It is a solution that uh, it is equipped and uh, closed to the manufacturing processes, or could be also integrated in an automation cycle. We have also uh, another solution that is uh, strictly dedicated to the three-dimensional surface uh, inspection. That is specifically also for the uh, orthopedic uh, application too. Now I would like to leave the speech to my colleague, to Raman. Please, Raman. So for me, not for not uh, not just for me, for Marcos, the quality means life. So what we are doing is we are ensuring the lives, because in every you know presentation we always says that one life lost is far too many. So what we are doing, we are providing you the high level of solutions by ensuring the life, uh, by ensuring the quality of particular components. And moving on to the further uh, i think mr sunil said that uh, if we want to become the number one uh, you know uh, in uh, exporting and uh, producer of the medical equipments we need to export the things so what we can do is we can provide the solution which can help the manufacturers present there in uh, uh, you know uh, india to have the product with uh, compliance of the global standards uh we have a solution for you know uh, whenever uh, there are uh, there are uh, extrusion processes being done we can provide the solution to uh, check the diameter and ovality of the round products during the extrusion process only apart from measuring the diameter and quality we can give the feedback to the extrusion machine and we can generate the out of tolerance alarm also so that you know 
process can be controlled at a very initial stage only the next solution which we can offer is uh, the same uh, laser uh, technology based solution just to check the uh, od of the part this is the handheld scanner you can check the od of the part anywhere which you want i i would just like to draw the interest of all my, our viewers into this that we can measure the diameter through this at uh, from 0.1 mm to 6 mm and you can see the repeatability and accuracy so marpos is very well known for ac accuracy and repeatability in the market mr rajiv nath was uh, focusing during his presentation on the iso standards so we do have a solution you know to basically in order to meet the product comply the product with the iso standards how you will do that you need to check your product with the iso certified gauges Bec uh, so we at marpos can provide you the thread connectors for the functional chest as check as per the iso standards like 80369 and iso 13485 for the urine bags for the iv cannulas for the blood bags we can provide you the leak testing solutions through which you can you know check the leakage and flow rates for disposable so that when when the product is being rolled out to the market to the uh, uh, other uh, like to the hospitals the product should be totally leak proof apart from that uh, we do have a solution uh, uh, dr chibber for uh, coronary stunts also so we can you know provide uh, the diameter uh, measurement solution for uh, uh, you know coronary stunts uh if i talk about now our locations in marpos uh, we have a headquarter in uh, manesar and we have branch offices in pune bangalore ahmedabad chennai jamshedpur we have a tendency you know to stay very close to the customers thanks mr polly and mr raman so before summing it up can i ask all the panelists to share your 30 second concluding concluding remarks on today's topic of the discussion why quality control is important in the biomedical industry well bottom line if i'm aiming my company to be a global uh, top 3 player and i want my brand to be the top 3 globally it starts from quality competitiveness that's the bottom line dr chiba well uh, i would say uh, i would actually echo rajiv nath ji but uh, you know quality is a is paramount so i think quality control uh, and assurances um, are are needed to be beyond standards we need to look at it from a company perspective a reputation perspective and a nation perspective yeah mr sunil yeah i think uh, this will give a less burden to our nation both on short term long term india reputation is very key which we need to really be very cognizant of in the beginning patient safety and growth beyond india these are the top of mind which will definitely be met with only quality minds mr raman For me again, I will say quality means one life lost is far too many. So why quality control is important? Just to you know save individual life by checking your equipment with the most accurate and highly reliable uh, instruments, which Marcos can provide you. So thank you so much, panelist. In conclusion, we can say quality control is not just a regulatory requirement, but a vital aspect. of ensuring patient safety product efficacy and of course industry credibility thank you all for watching this episode hello friends if you enjoyed watching this video please like comment share and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content